So, I am here in Akron and another Tatarian old world massive building. This has been converted into the Summit County Courthouse um, after they took it. It's just massive. The construction was said to have happened in 1908. And it was uh, by, they say, a, a local architect. But it has all the markings of the old world. Look all about it. They've kind of tried to modernize it, obviously. Now this whole thing is also on a hill. Right across the street, I'll go get more footage of this. Is another building directly associated with this one. They call this one the municipal building. There you got the owl. We all know what that symbolizes. Look at that big doorway. The symbolism is very important on these buildings. Because when they were built, that was telling you who they were for. Just look at the detail of this. You know, to be doing this in the very early 1900s, um, barely cars. And that building actually is really long. It goes way down. It's a whole block. But the narrative just does not fit. I mean, just these stones here alone. Just the massive, massive. And you can also see that it was once buried just by the way that it's going downhill there. So this building is probably much bigger. Same with the one I'm on. That's a statue of Charles Goodyear, who they say invented uh, the process to make rubber useful for humans. But really, all they did was just give him credit for a technology that they already had. Just like all the technology. We already have it all. It was already here. It's just trickled out to us and new names are put on it. But I'm gonna get a little closer look at this building. So you can see here how this was clearly a much bigger building. And that's a really, really steep hill that that goes down. So this was definitely buried much bigger than what it was. So the Summit County Courthouse, as they call it, on the roof with the ability to protect people. All that detail in there. There's something they're not going to be doing in the early 1900s. Uh, something to this scale. Look at the size of this door. It's a really huge doorway. So, you know, there was definitely a much bigger Bigger, bigger, bigger people. That's another lie they tell us. Um, a lot of us already know about giants, but people were bigger and we've gotten smaller. They like to say that, um, you know, we've gotten small or bigger and they'll build their little fake little sets to make it look like people were only five feet tall. And look at the detail on that. It just, to me, seems so fabricated. You know, these angels that built these didn't necessarily quote unquote build them sometimes I think more like you know just fabricated them and then with the uh, statues they put on here I think these were added after the fact I don't think those were there 
because I do believe these two statues represent law and justice. Um, I don't know which is which. Now, I do think these big light structures were here. That's probably copper that probably produced its own electricity. And another thing I wanted to point out is that this is on a massive hill. You can tell I'm looking up at it. Here's the street. So it goes uphill very much. So clearly this was a massive structure. Massive structure. Uh, where I'm standing is probably where it once used to be, or even lower. You know, this could have been easily a 200 foot high structure. And we're just seeing the very tip of it. They love to add their symbolism. The lion sat on top of this. And this whole area has these big walkways. Here's the building across the street from the courthouse, the municipal building. A little closer look at it, and look at the work of these stones. Just perfection. It just, it just looks generated. It doesn't look like it would be hand-built. And these big, big slabs. Going in the, uh, just the very kind of entrance here. Just amazing. Look at that, that's iron. Just the detail. Imagine uh, walking into this, and again, this doorway is massive. You know, this is, this is, uh, 25, maybe 30 feet high. And same with this. Um, a little shorter as far as the door goes, but that could have been filled in. Just, oh, that's, yeah, that's marble. And I wish I could get in there, I really do. <laughs> um, but there are some other buildings I will be able to get into uh, during a weekday. I usually go out and do this on Sundays. Because it's just less uh, noise and people. And then so right here, looking across the street, is the courthouse I was shooting. So I do do believe these buildings were um, associated to one another. When they were originally built, it was probably, yeah, I'd say at least 500 years ago, at least, at least. Before the, before the flood, or I don't, I don't think humans caused any kind of changeover event. I don't think they have that power. Um, I think that's propaganda. That's just to scare people. Make, make us think that they're that powerful, and they're not. It's, it's God's work. But you can see how this is on a hill here. It gets bigger and bigger as you go down. So this was clearly once much taller and higher. And um, I'm going to get a couple other buildings while I'm here. I wanted to get a little more in on the detail on this front structure here. I mean, the detail alone should tell you that this wasn't just chiseled away during horse and buggy time. They didn't, they weren't doing this. Got the Indian there. That's a whole other story. Um, this area is known for its in Indian heritage, but um, I think there's more to that than just cowboys and Indians because the wild, wild west is a complete fabrication. So I'm here at another really large old world building said to have been founded in 1917. Uh, but you can see just how big this is, another one that is buried and downhill and um, you know that was added after the fact uh, to see 
how amazing how big this was same with the detail this one i do believe that is all granite which uh quite a feat to do in 1917 with what tools they said they had to work with so i do believe this is another ancient building i don't know how long ago but very very long ago and built to last forever and then they just you know find it call it founded and claim it as their own repurpose it i can't get in there but i'm here at one of the doors and i just wanted to point out and this is just the entrance way um but those are that's all marble on that wall so that's just a little <laughs> tip of the iceberg of the and you can see that railing right into that marble very heavy heavy metal of kind some kind same with this one and then just the size of these windows these bottom these first floor or well <laughs> first floor quote unquote you know, that could be the middle of the building. Who knows how far down it really, truly goes. You can see, they kind of have it graded off, but you know, if I see down in there. Just a, a pretty interesting artwork that was added to this. This is a, probably an old bridge, but they modernized it. But they put these... It was almost like plaster, um, but I, that's a historical house here in Akron. This is a historical house. That's probably uh, some footballer. And then that actually kind of looks like the courthouse, but these are put up here because they like to memorialize the old world right in front of us. What was once here and founded. And then they put money <laughs> our money into showing it, showing us right in our face. Just the design is, in, in my mind, so Tatarian. Um, but this is also, looks like it's buried, it was bigger, I'm on a hill, a big mound above from the street, so this is filled over. Amazing place. Amazing. The, the the look that they had was so beautiful, and you know, not like us. That's the beauty of it. And you know, another thing is these buildings never had bathrooms in them. They had to be added in. So that alone will tell you something that who built these um, didn't operate like like humans, and uh, not aliens. Aliens do not exist talking about the angels. Amazing building. And this one was com completed. They say completed in 1871. The wording, you know, they use founded, completed. Just an amazing doorway. Another really big, tall doorway. You know, I even think that these are original to the construction. You know, when I'm standing here, I can really feel the energy of the ones involved making this. Just look at that. You know, 1871? No, they weren't doing this in 1871 with a horse and chisel and donkeys and... It's beautiful. I'm here at this amazing Tatarian home. Which was called the Hauer House. 
as one of these structures in the front here. Another one of these are. Big circular stone with a square peg in the middle. But this Tatarian artwork is just architecture, excuse me, it's just amazing. Detail around those windows. So here is that house, I believe to be old world, modernized in some ways to hide it, but that has old world written all over it. Now this is a historical site here in Akron, because the narrative goes, and it's probably true, he probably did take over this Tatarian old world house and it was given to him. Andrew Jackson. There you go. So, uh, yeah, Andrew Jackson, uh, one of the fake, one of the fakers, <laughs> put into fake power to uh, propagate, you know, the plan after after the flood. God was here, and Jesus was here, and this was all built by the archangels, I believe. The times of Jesus have passed for now, and we're in Satan's short season. He's got us for uh, a while. You know, they say that uh, meteorites hit Earth, and that there's 200 craters, and I did a video on this that I had come to realize that those are just dried up geysers. And then uh, through learning through other people and continuing to keep an open mind and think on things, it would definitely uh, prove that there are 200 geysers. The fallen angels were let out of prison. There were 200 angels and there are now 200 countries. All right, until next time, guys. And uh, just please tell me everything that you guys would know. I'm interested to learn and uh, point out what I missed. That's why I make these, to seek it out myself and feel the energy of it in person. That really matters to me because I can sense the fakeness or realness and then to share it. have really great discuss honest and discuss uh, honest and honest and amazing discussions about it so I hope this is helpful and um, I love you guys and, um, God be with you